Empress Virgo, Empress Virgo to bro. Back again with another reading. This time it is a what I am feeling energy message for the collective for the week of November 13th to the 19th, 19th of 2023. Again, that's November 13th to the 19th of 2023. I hope you guys are staying healthy, happy, and safe out there. And I appreciate all the love and the support that you guys give to me and to the channel. It is much appreciated. So I'm going to cut to the chase. The energy of this week is going to be real weird. I got this feeling that, and I'm going to look into the astrology, y'all. Some of y'all, if you feel like you need to make peace with people, it's not the time to be fighting with people. If you feel like you need to make peace with people, I'm going to tell you this. Do it. If it's something where it's court related, do it through the court system or a mediator. Okay, if it's something on the job, your boss or your supervisor, let them handle it. Go through the proper channels of, what they call it, uh, chain of command, I should say. Uh, if it's something in court, address it that way. If there's a court case file, address it through a mediator, judge, your lawyers. Do not, I repeat, do not meet up with somebody that you had to file charges on, a lawsuit against. Or whatever because it won't end right i don't know where this is coming from that's what i kept keep picking up on okay but we're gonna i'm gonna give you a rundown of the astrology for the week okay if you can make it past monday the rest of the week is gonna be a breeze okay so it's gonna be a lot of magnetic energy a lot of confident energy a lot of, you're gonna have a healthy sense of confidence and idealism okay so we're gonna have the new moon on monday uh so the energy is going to be, like I said, you're going to think something's going one way and then you're going to find out that that was an illusion, okay? Um, some, this moon energy, I'm telling you now, this new moon energy is going to lead to a lot of impulsive actions, some that you can or may or may not be able to take back and some that others may or may not be able to take back, Okay. Avoid signing on the dotted line, especially with a contract. Take that time to look over it. Cross your T's, dot your I's, get a, a lawyer to look at it, something of that nature. Make sure you have someone uh, from your legal team or legal representative to look at stuff for you. Um, but on Tuesday and Wednesday, everything should be okay as far as being rational, being able to do teamwork negotiating things or negotiating certain contracts or whatever um thursday is perfect for projects they require you to concentrate to network it'll be a good time to make sure your contracts are right sign them if you're comfortable after you've gotten someone to look over them and stuff like that thursday is not the best night for date night um, however, some people could become emotionally touchy over the smallest things, like I was telling you, people snapping, popping off, or doing or saying things that they can't take back. That Thursday is not, <laughs> I'm serious, it's not the best day. If you want a full astrological breakdown, go to cafeastrology.com for each day of the week. They even do it for months. You can get the full astrological breakdown to help you out from day to day okay i'm just giving you a synopsis a summary um on a personal level though um the days of tuesday and wednesday uh will be like best for you to make your personal and professional dreams come true even thursday as well but make sure you, if you're doing something what you've been, that you've been working on for a long time, make sure you look over it, revise, edit, make sure that once you present it to someone, especially if it's a boss or someone or a company or whatever, that everything is squared away, okay? Um, Saturday is a good time if you like to exercise and you like to exercise on the weekend to update your fitness routine or your schedule for the upcoming week or weeks ahead so that'll be a good time to do that um or change up some stuff sunday is the day for romance it's a day for art it's a day for good ideas watching new documentaries reading a book going on a date to a museum but the best advice that i could tell you 
use whatever good energy you have working for you, positive energy, good luck, to help you get through the week. And project that out into the world because everybody can use good energy, okay? Also, too, like I said, I have a feeling if you have filed paperwork, court documents, lawsuits, anything, or have aired your grievances on a job, this is not the time to be meeting alone with someone that you have done that to. I'm going to reiterate that for everyone. If it resonates for you, cool. If it doesn't, chunk it, release it, let it go, okay? But like I always tell y'all, if something doesn't resonate with you, it might resonate with someone in your circle, someone on the job, or in the general public, okay? Just keep that in mind. So the top astrological event of the week will be on Monday. We're going to have the new moon. It's going to be conjunct in Mars and Scorpio, opposite Uranus and Taurus. So this is going to be a wild card day. Starting out, Well, not really starting out the week, but starting out the work week on Monday. It's, that day is going to be a wild card, okay? Anything could happen. The potential for things to spin out of control could happen quite easily and quite suddenly. Like I was telling you, don't confront nobody or don't meet up with people, whether it be friends, exes, people you have business dealings with that went bad, uh, a coworker who you have bad um, dealings with or feelings with, don't do it because they might things not get out of control okay seek peace instead of escalating things but you have to use your head in every scenario don't think that someone will have your heart in your mind and won't do something to harm you whether verbally physically or emotionally so you have to use i don't even want to say common sense because some people get offended when you say that use your intuition to guide you in any manner or matter, I should say, when dealing with people during this week because it's going to be popping, literally, okay? So keep that in mind. So let's get into the tarot. All right, that was a lot, but okay. All right, so yeah, okay. So some dealing with somebody's money, family, <laughs> ten of pentacles and the ace of pentacles. Okay, so yeah. Some we work family, career, whatever. If somebody feels like they're being threatened, no matter how insignificant you think it is, watch your back. Not mean to scare nobody, but please be aware. Don't fall for that. Oh, let me just meet up with you and let's talk about this one-on-one. Mm -mm. Nope, don't do it. I don't care who it is. Things can turn. Just saying messages for the collective for the week of november 13th to the 19th of 2023 let's see i keep feeling that do not do that i, I give, i'm telling you now i don't do four of cups two of pentacles temperance Knight of Swords, Three of Swords, yeah, like I said, don't meet up with y'all, yeah. you have to be shrewd, whether you are Divine Masculine or Divine Feminine, let your lawyer or a mediator handle something, because somebody is trying to do something, they ain't got no business, I put it that way, somebody you were with for some of y'all. Your love is here. Lord, I hope this ain't what I think I, I think this is. Okay, somebody was disappointed, okay? Like I said, somebody's going to be disappointed by a move that you made. Um, the whole time you were trying to work with them with the Two of Pentacles, but it didn't work. This Sagittarius energy right here with Temperance. This person, whoever this is, like I said, it might be a co-worker who feel like you're trying to get them fired. It could be a boss that thinks you're trying to show them up. It could be an ex thinking you're trying to get away from them, whatever that means. Um, somebody 
It's like they've been watching you and they waiting for the perfect moment to strike. I don't know who this is for. If it's for you or it sounds familiar or you getting goosebumps on your arm while you're listening to this, this is for you or for somebody that you know. Don't. Do not. I repeat, I told you at the beginning, do not meet up with someone alone. If it's something about some stuff on your job or a lawsuit that you filed, some kind of court documents case, somebody think you said something about them, let them think it. And especially if they say, let's let's meet up to talk about this. Let's squash them. Mm-mm. Handle it in court. I just, child, I don't know who this was. Okay, let me see. Somebody who is a mother or a father. Lord, I hope this ain't what I think it is. Please clarify the three of swords again. Like I said, whoever this person is, they are lying on you or to you. Whoever this person is who wants to meet up with you, they could be an Aquarius. Um, they, the judgment card is right there. That's Aquarius energy as well. They, <laughs> Page, don't be naive. I don't know what this is. This is strange. Like I was saying before, don't be naive thinking that you can, that this person actually wants to talk to you about something that y'all fell out about on the job, or if this is an ex, a strange husband or wife, or whatever the case may be, uh, this runs a co-worker, do not, be clear, do not fall for it, I'm just saying, please clarify the page of pentacles, that's the energy I keep getting, you know, please clarify the page of pentacles. King of Swords, let your lawyer handle it. Let your Five of Cups in reverse, the Lovers in reverse, and the Nine of Swords in reverse. Somebody is plotting. First, you worried about them, but they plotting something. The Lovers in reverse. This is either someone you, oh Lord, you were with in a relationship, possibly had a child with them because the Empress is here. Or the Empress, how it resonates. And the Four of Cups is in reverse. Do not. Do not. Page of Wands right there. That one could represent something else. Two different things. It could represent. You know. The SEX organ. Or it could also represent. Oh, W-E-A-P-O-N. Yeah. Or somebody trying to do somebody home. Oh, God. This one was strange. It, it got some real sinister energy to it. I don't like this. I might record another one. Let's see. So somebody needs to hear. Let's see. What additional message... Do you have for it's like a setup, a trap. You thinking that y'all going to make a mess? Five of swords energy. They coming to win it all costs. Oh my god. Okay. What else, spirit? Card. Flip over. What are other messages from the Holy Spirit do you have for the collective? You better know that you are sacred. Do not fall for the okie doke. Do not. What is this? Spirit of the South 32. Hmm. What else? You better learn how to value yourself in all areas of your life for some of y'all. Don't fall for thunderstorm. That's what I was feeling. That That's that old goon energy. Y'all, something is about to pop off. I... Okay, let me see. I'm going to read number 39. Let me read it. Thunderstorms can feel like the end of the world. With rain pouring down, visceral booming thunderclaps and jagged streets. 
This, this reminds me of the tower. It's a tower moment coming. There are moments in our lives like this too when change is so thorough and complete we can't do anything else but surrender and trust all will be well in the end. These storms both in the sky and in our lives present danger. But ultimately, didn't I say? Oh dear. But ultimately, they clear the air and make space for better clarity and focus. Rude awakenings blink, bring clarity to the consequences of our action or lack of action. Beliefs and values you hold dear are put to the test to determine whether or not they are strong enough to hold you as you transcend to your next level. Thunderstorm is a warning that you are or soon will be in the midst of a significant change or upheaval. This is a time to put faith in a higher power and trust in Mother Earth. The events are out of your control, but you can decide how you navigate this storm. Trust that what is taken from you will be replaced and what is lost you don't you didn't need. Okay, look. This card and what I'm feeling, I'm going by my intuition. For some of y'all who, like I said, you have a disgruntled boss, coworker, ex ex-husband ex-wife baby mother baby father do not meet up with this particular person i'm telling you now not by yourself and you i'm saying in a situation where you know things have been really bad to where the police has been involved the courts have been involved you may have had to sue this person or file documentation in the courts against this person do not let them convince you to meet up with them. Whoever this is from, you know if it resonates for you. They're going to use your naivete. A page is naive. They're going to use their naivete against you. Do not engage them by yourself. Let your lawyers, the courts, the people on your job, human resources, whoever, handle this situation do not engage them on your own if they try to corner you by yourself try to leave in a safe manner defend yourself i put it to you that way know that you are sacred know that you are protected but don't put yourself in any foolish dangerous situations that can be prevented okay meaning don't let somebody talk you into meeting them Meeting up with them when you know they have it out for you. Because something might happen. That thunderstorm energy. I kept feeling Okay. I kept feeling it. I kept feeling it. Some of y'all need to go and cleanse by a river. If you can't get to a river or ocean or body water. Do a spiritual bath. Or a... um. Uh, 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 some type of spiritual cleansing because some some big is happening during this week so be on the look for that call on your angels your guides your ancestors this one here is rough okay oh boy I got a license age out of this one okay so that's all I have for the collective of the What I Am Feeling Energy message for November 13th through the 19th of 2023. I hope you guys enjoyed the reading. If it resonated, if it didn't, come back and check it out later. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.